Hello everybody, in this video, I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is at $104,034.95. In the past year, I am up $28,452.76. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $11,904.96. Today, or rather on Friday, it looks like I was up $228.03, so a slightly green day. So yeah, I'm at $104,000 right now, which is not too bad. I'm happy about that. Let's go over my positions. And also, there's one position that I wanted to go into detail later because I kind of made a mistake with that, but I'll talk about it later. All right, I'm selling SoFi $7 puts. These expire September... September 6, which is the end of this week. My total return, zero. I have Amazon, $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return, $14. I have Amazon, $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return, I am down $32. I'm selling Disney $95 calls. These expire October 18th. My total return $75. I have McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return $800. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, I am down $3,270. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, $953. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, I am down $150. I have Disney $70 calls. These expired December 19th, 2025. My total return, $1,701. For my stocks, I have less than one share of Amazon. Amazon is at $178.10. My average cost, $98.94. My total return, $5.52. Um, I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $8.03. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $14,440.80. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $90.37. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $9,148. I have 100 shares of Google. Google's at $163.10. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $2,062. This is a margin account. My margin total is $85,245.51. My margin used is $4,048.47. My options collateral is $27,600. This leaves me with $53,597.04 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $41,302.11. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.75%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $10.24. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So if you've been watching my videos, you will notice that I have a lot more buying power than usual. And I have a lot less shares of Amazon than usual. Usually I have around at least 300, right? However, those 300 shares of Amazon are gone. Now I only have 0 0.06973 shares, which is pretty much nothing, um, less than one share. So 
the reason why my shares of Amazon are no longer in my portfolio is because they got called away. And let me explain to you why. So I was selling Amazon $180 covered calls on Friday, but I decided last minute that I would change the strike price to $177 and a half. So let's go to the history and I'll show you guys. Yeah, so here's here's what happened. All right. So yeah, covered call roll. As you can see, I went from uh, the 180. I actually I didn't even have 180. I had 185 dollar strike price, and I decided I would get, you know, I'd, I I would lower the strike price to gain a little bit more premium, and I didn't think that you know it would actually go above 177 dollars and 50 cents on uh, August 30th. I didn't think that. However, what happened was. Throughout the day, Amazon kept going up and up, especially towards the later uh, part of the day. And it actually did end up above $177.5. So my shares got called away. And the 300 shares that were in my account, now they're no longer there. Um, so that's why. That, that's what happened. Now, let me show you what happened with Amazon specifically. Let's see if I can show it in the past week. So yeah, you see this? Okay. Here's what happened, all right? August 30th, it was like 173. So I'm like, oh, 173, it's not gonna get to 177 and a half. Surely it's, it's not gonna do that. It's not gonna do that, right? That's what I thought. That's why I changed the strike price to $177 and a half. Thinking that it would not reach that point on August 30th. However, look what happens throughout August 30th. As the day goes on, see now it goes up to 175. And then out of nowhere, bam, it goes all the way up to 178 and a half. And this is pretty steep, right? It, it, it was started down here and then all out of nowhere jumped up to over 178. And I did not expect that. Um, so my shares are gone. Now, what do I plan to do about this? The thing is, this happened very last minute, I, so I couldn't really have time to react. Plus, I was not like actively managing my uh, covered call after the fact. Um, I changed the strike price and then I left it as is, assuming that it would not reach above that point. But it, this happened at the end of the day. It just... Anyways, that's what happened. So what do I plan to do at this point? I'm thinking of either selling puts, you know, cash secure puts to maybe either gain premium or gain some shares back of Amazon or um, just straight up buy the shares back, you know, 300 shares and then do covered calls on it. Um, so either one of those I'm thinking of doing. That's the plan because uh, I didn't intend to lose my 300 shares of Amazon, but that's what happened. I, I guess it's a good and bad thing because the fact that it did go up means that, you know, it went up. So I gained some profit off of the price of Amazon going up. So it's not like, you know, um, Amazon crashing or anything. I would have lost a bunch of money if that happened. Uh, so at least I did gain some money, but I do want my shares of Amazon. Um, so yeah, I, I plan to get them back somehow. Um, I don't plan to, you know, leave Amazon out of my portfolio forever. Technically, I do still have, you know, 0 0.06 shares, which is next to nothing. But um, I'm planning to get several hundred shares of Amazon uh, in my portfolio again. Anyways, that's the plan. That's what happened. It's uh, kind of crazy and un un unexpected. I was not expecting that to happen, but uh, that's how things played out. All right. Um... Now, I do have a ton of buying power. Question is, do I want to use all of that on Amazon or do I want to split it up and use it on something else? Not really sure at this point. Um, there are a couple of things that I was watching, but maybe I will just spend it all on Amazon. We'll see. Um, now, it looks like in terms of after hours, some of these are red. So Amazon has gone down since Friday 
at least by this time, you know, it's uh, Monday night. Today's Labor Day, so the markets were not open. But it does look like in the 24 hour market, it is down by a little bit, like 28 cents down. Not that much. But yeah. Um, yeah, sometimes things happen where I don't really expect it to happen that way, but uh, that's just what happens sometimes. Um, in terms of McDonald's, this is still a little bit scary. It's at 286 right now. And I do want it to stay below 300. That's what I want. I don't want it to go past the $300 per share. Um, so it is a little bit scary right now for these spreads, my $300, $310 call credit spreads. I'm down over $3,000. I'm down $3,270, which is scary, right? I, if I hadn't even done these uh, call credit spreads, I would be $3,000 richer right now. But unfortunately, I'm... Uh, down three thousand dollars in this position. So this is something that I have to actively pay attention to um, Yeah So that's one thing everything else I think is fine Verizon is fine um, My Disney diagonal spread I think is okay Not much Amazon is between You know the range that I would want it to be in so it's that's fine also so if I seven dollar puts is right now it's at like at, a, at an eight dollars so I don't think I'm actually gonna well we'll see I, I I can predict what's gonna happen but I don't know for sure what's gonna happen so who knows maybe so if I will actually go pass down seven dollars uh, by the sixth which is this Friday it could happen I don't know uh, I, I don't know what to expect at this point, but uh, what I'm hoping is either I gain a little bit of premium because it's only worth like two cents each right now, right? Current price is only two cents. Um, so I'll gain only a little bit of money in premium, but this one's not too serious. I, I'm not expecting SoFi to crash down that low, but... Uh, I don't know what to believe at this point. Anyways, overall, I think I'm doing okay, but sometimes things happen that I don't expect. All right, I'll keep on making more updates so that if anything does, you know, unexpectedly happen, I'll let you guys know and include it in an update. But for now, this is all I have to say in this update. If you guys like this type of content, you guys want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll keep on making more portfolio updates. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.